Hello friends, welcome to BSA Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubt, please comment in the section so that you can be able to join us in the Instagram page and ask your doubts. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to say about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the orthoptroid in orders in the insect order. So while seeing the orthoptera, the name is to be read for the ortho, which means straight, as well as the terra, which is wings. So you can be able to understand that the straight winged animals are said to be comes under the classification of orthoptera. The common names are grasshopper, locust, catedic, cricket and mole cricket. So these are the animals which use it to comes under orthoptera order. So for example we are going to see those insects which is locust, greenhouse cap, green uh, grasshoppers as well as the bush crickets. So where they used to have a long antenna as well as they used to have the straight wings. And the characters we are going to see about the insects in orthoptera, they used to be medium to large size in insects and the antenna is said to be filiform in nature and the mouth form mouth parts are said to be mandibulate and the prothoras is said to be larger and the pronotum is curved and ventrally covering the plural region of the insect body and the hind legs are said to be saltorial, which is used for jumping on. And the four wings are said to be leathery and thick and which is said to be known as tegmina and they are cap block bending without breaking them and the hind wings are said to be membranous one with a large anal area and they are folded to the long tendril pattern between veins and kept beneath the tegmina so they cannot be damaged and uh, while seeing the sepsi which are said to be short or long and uh, which is mainly unsegmented one and the whole portion is said to be well developed in female one and the metamorphosis is said to be gradual one when compared to other insects. In many orthoptera, the newly hatched first insect names are covered with loose cuticles. So they are said to be called as pronins and uh, the specialized stridulate tree, which is a sound producing as well as the odd, uh, odd tree, which is a hearing organs are said to be present in these insects. While seeing the classification in this order, they are this classified into two suborders they are califers as well as the ensifers so in in califers the antenna is should to be short with less than 30 segments but in ensifer the antenna is should to be long with more than 30 segments and the tympan is found on the lateral sides of the first abdominal segment and the tympanimus is found on the four tibia in this group of insects and uh, vision and uh, hearing is said to be acute in califer and the tactical response is said to be well developed in the insect group of animals and the mandibles are men, uh, specialized for consuming monocot foliage and uh, in, in insect group they are said to be only feed on the dicot plants and in califer they are said to be dineural in nature and uh, in insect they are used to have a nocturnal mouth they used to lay on jump to escape from the predators in califer as well as in insect they use relay on crypsis and the eggs are laid in groups in soil which below the shallow burrows and in insect they are said to be singly inserted into the plant tissue or the soil. So after this classification we can able to even see the classification of families in these suborders. So first while seeing the suborder of califer the families are two families which is agridae as well as the terigide. In agridae the short horned grasshoppers and locusts are said to be classified and the terigide Grouse locusts are said to be classified. In suborders of Ensifer, the family in Tetigonidae, the long horned grasshopper, catidids, and bush crickets are said to be classified, and grillids, which is used to compose only of crickets, and uh, grilloctidae, which is used to compose of mole crickets. So these are the families in these suborders. While seeing the fam uh, suborder of Califer, we are going to see first about the acridae, which is used to comprise of locust as well as grasshopper. The antenna is said to be short and the tosses is said to be three segmented and the over portion uh, is said to be short and a horny nature and the tympanum is located on one uh, located on one or either side of the first abdominal segment in these grasshoppers and the sound is uh, mainly produced by the femoro alary mechanism in these insects and the locust are serious threat to the tropical agriculture area because they swarm uh, under favorable conditions and mainly feed on each and every crops which is grown in that area in even up to grasses and uh, after that we are going to see about the 
Rigidae family, so which is used to mainly compose of Krauss locus. They are said to be have a backwardly elongated pronotum, which is used to cover the abdomen and hide the hind wing. So the tegma is said to be reduced to small scales in these insects. In this picture, you can be able to clearly see the elongated pronotum in these insects. And after that, we are going to see about the suborder Enzifer. So while seeing the first one of the family, we are going to see about the Tetigonidae. Uh, which used to compose of catadip bush crickets as well as the long horned grasshopper, where the antenna is said to be long and the tarsus is four segmented. Where in that order, the tarsus is three segmented, and the over portion is said to be sword like in this family Tetigonidae. And the artery organs are said to be found in four tibia, and the four tibia is used to compose a pair of tympanum is said to be present. Uh, in these insects and the other tympanum are larger than in the inner one and the sound producing is alloy type in this one group the region of the hind margin of the forewing is said to be wrapped against a row of teeth so that the uh, stridulatory wing present on the ventral side of another forewing which used to throw the resonant areas on the wing to, to give the vibration sound to be produced in these insects so the cat tits and bush crickets uh, have given these images so these are the images of cat tits and by bush cricket after, after that we are going to see about the family grillidae uh, which is used to mainly compress of cricket where the antenna is said to be long and the tarsus is four segmented over portion is said to be slender and needle like in shape and four wings are abruptly bent down to cover both the sides of the body and the hind wings are said to be accumulate they are produced into a pair of long process which product beyond the abdomen so we can able to clearly see in this picture and the sessia are said to be long and unsegmented and the artery organ and stirlately organs are said to be similar like as that of a long horned grasshopper and milks are said to be stirlated during night time uh, so they produce a stripling cripsy noise in groups and the gripply species is said to be a household pest and after that we are going to see about the gorilla prey mole crickets they are said to be brown colored insect which found inside the burrows so the eyes are reduced and pronotum is said to be elongate and ovate and round posteriorly and four legs are fossorial legs so the tibia are said to be expand and dignity so in this fossorial legs they are mainly used for burrowing of the sand and the hind wings are extended beyond the tegmina as a pair of process and the special stimulatory structures are said to be absent in these groups of group a humming sound is produced by rubbing their four wings and a pair of tympanum is found outside the tibia and the over portion is said to be vestigial in nature and the mole kitter burrow into the soil and feed on the tender root of the growing plants so you can able to see that those legs the fossorial legs which is used for Uh, burrowing of the sand near the plants so the mo mole cricket is said to be a uh, storage pest in potatoes and after that we are going to see about the order dictyoptera so dictyoptera so dictyon which is a network and the terop which is wings so they use these wings used to have an insects used to have a network uh, type of wings so the common names are cockroaches and praying mantis while seeing the characters they are used to have a hypogonathus head and the antenna is filiform they are used to have a chewing type of mouth pods and the tarsus are five segmented and four wing are more or less thick and leathery with their marginal coast wings and they are called tagmina and the hind wing are said to be large and large membranous and folded uh, fan like in the structure and keep beneath the four wings so while seeing the cerci they are said to be short and many segmented x contain is said to be known as the utica and even dictyopterya is said to be classified into two suborders which is to be known as blattodidy and mantidy so the blattodidy group which is in to mainly comprise of cockroaches and mantidy which is to comprise only of praying mantis so these are the important families we must need to see in the dictyoptera while seeing the uh, difference between blattidae and mantidae the head is said to be not mobile in uh, all direction because the pronotum is said to be present in the upper part of the head uh, so the head is said to be hidden under the pronotum but in mantidae 
the head is said to be mobile in all direction because the pronotum does not cover the head so the in blatter day the insect can able to see the views up to 180 degree but in matter day they can able to see all around 360 degree so there is a one d two front set which is a two oxidy are said to be present which is the degenerated form of oxidy is said to be known as the fenestrae which used to occur at the place of oxidy and three oxidy are present in matter day groups and the pronotum is said to be shield like in uh, blatidae which is cockroaches and the pronotum is said to be elongated in nature in mantidae groups and in black tea the legs are prosorial which is used for running and the mantidae they are raptorial and middle and hind legs are mainly suitable for walking one and the glissari is said to be powerfully armed with the chitinous teeth to grind foot and the chitinous teeth are said to be present uh, absent in gizati and eggs are laid in chitinous uthika and uh, the in mantidae the eggs are enclosed in a hard filled solid form the uthika is not chitinous it is a spermaline in nature so you can able to see in this picture where they used to have a solidified foam like structure which forms uh, like an egg and the nymphs are said to be not cannibalistic but the nymphs are even uh, cannibalistic even at their birth and they do not have a mimicry nature is said to be found in black day group but the mantidae used to mimic leaves and flowers Uh, the blackidae are said to be omnivorous, but in mantidae are said to be carnivorous. Only the they use it to act as a predators of different harmful insects in the field, and they mainly found found in the household dead wood as well as litter. But mantidae is found in the outdoors. The economic importance of blackidae and mantidae we will see. The blackidae are used to feed on the food cloths, foodstuffs, cloths, and paper. they also used to import a bad foul smell by contaminating with the excreta hence they are harmful in nature but um, mantidae they are said to be i have already told you they are the predators of moth flies grasshoppers and caterpillars so they are beneficial in nature so the important species we must need to know in blatidae and mantidae american cockroach as well as the praying mantis where the scientific names are periplanata americana and mantis radicosa so these are the images of american cockroach as well as the praying mantis so after that we are going to see about the order dermaptera so the dermaptera the derma which is skin as well as the terra wings so they used to have a skin like wings in their body so example ear wings so the characteristics we are generally elongate insects where they used to have a y shaped epicranial suture in the head they used to have chewing mouth part and the prothoracic is large and well developed and mobile in nature and the meso and metathorax are said to be fused with the first abdominal segment and the four wings are short leathery as well as the veinless one and both wings are met along with the mid dorsal line in the insect bo- body of the ear wing they so they are called as tegmina as well as elytra so these are the names which was given to the wings of a uh, four wing and they are protective in function and are not used for flight and uh, hind wings are said to be large membranous and semi circular and they used to be form like ear like structure in the body the anal area of the wing is said to be large with a number of branches of anal whites which are radially arranged so the characteristics we'll see they fold like fan longitudinal and twice transversely and kept beneath the four wings at rest so the wings does not cover the abdomen fully so they are said to be partially covered mm. and the cecy which is found at the end of the abdomen and they are unsegmented large and they used to have a four sub like cecy doesn't it to the back so they are large and bowed in male and uh, nearly straight in the female one so these are the distance you can able to identify male and female one so they are useful in defense folding and unfolding of wings and a pre capture and a copulation pro- and also used in copulation process and the parental care is said to be shown in the female ear wings it is said to be lateral and the roots of eggs until the hatching occurs and also some other ear wings also used to carry the nymphs on the backs so the importance of these families are uh, the forfuculidae which is a common earwig they use it to include several component species including dorus eculantum as well as the forfica aculeata and labridurite which is a reddish brown earwig with long cirsi 
and uh, carcino poridae which is said to be a dark brown or a black insect with reddish brown legs as well as the small one small sesi this family include one very common species which is said to be known as euberlina annulipus so while seeing the denma i have already told you so the spot id you can able to see is the long skin which used to look like an hind wing folded underneath a very short fore wings in this insect body so and the pictures of her said to be found at the end of abdomen so the important are uh, they used to boast at the governor paw and feeds on the kernel is the important characteristics of this group in insects after that we are going to see about the order yeah, mb after so mb which is lively and terra uh, which is wings so they used to have a lively wings the common names are empites as well as the web spinners while seeing the character station of these insects they used to have a filiform antenna and chewing type of mouth parts and the basic torus of the fore leg is greatly enlarged in these group of insects and silk glands and spinnerets are said to be found in the basic torus and the hind femur is said to be enlarged and helps in backward running of these insects and the male used to have a well developed wings and the female used to have apatris so they are said to be mainly wingless one and the wings are elongated nearly equal and the smoky brown with reduced wing variation are said to be present in the male one and radial veins are uh, which is present in this wings are said to be very thick and the cerci are asymmetrical in nature so they used to have one larger as well as one smaller one cerci which uh, so the cercus is said to be one segment and it serves as a clasper in these insects so i have it's how uh, the images so where you can able to see the male one with the wings as well as the female one with the absence of wings even the continuation of characteristics with these group of insects though they mainly feed on the decaying plant matters and the sets are said to be equal as well as the two segmented and they are gregarious in nature in their nature and live inside tubular silken tubes beneath stones logs as well as the bark of trees and the female used to show strong parental care and they even nurse the eggs and nymphs until they become the adult one so i have already told you they mainly feed on the plant decaying plant matters so these are the tubular silken tunnels which is made by the female ones so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubt please comment in the section or also you can able to join us in the instagram page which, which is in the description of the video so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos